My name is Samantha Hughes and I'm going to be talking about when you should register an enduring power of attorney compared to a lasting power of attorney. During power of attorney were documents prepared before 2007. They are still valid documents, but they're no longer prepared anymore. Compared to lasting power of attorneys, they are the more up-to-date documents. So a lasting power of attorney has been split into two types of documents. You have one over your financial affairs and the other over your health and welfare. They did this because the enduring power of attorney only allows your named attorney to make decisions on your financial decisions. So a lasting power of attorney can't be used unless it's registered with the Office of the Public Guardian. So you as the donor, you can choose to register the documents now because it is a slightly longer process. It's about eight to 10 weeks to register. So if you register them now, it doesn't mean that your attorneys take over. It just means that the documents are ready to be used when you're ready for them to. So what I would suggest is that if you've prepared an enduring power of attorney is that you find the document, see whether it's an original or a copy, make sure that all the people you've nominated are those that you still trust, check how you want them to act jointly or jointly and severally, see if there's any restrictions, but of course, if you're not sure of what the document states, then please just give us a call and I'll be more than happy to have a look at it and talk through it.